Hello, and welcome back to our Getting Started series for Password Hub Business. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to invite multiple users to your Password Hub. We'll also be assigning them user groups so that they can acquire the proper vault roles and permissions. If you haven't watched the first video in the series, I encourage you to go check that one out first before viewing this one. All right, so let's head on over to our Password Hub. Now, in our last video, Bob invited a second admin, Maurice, but I didn't really go into any of the options. So today we're going to dive in a little bit more on the invitation process. So the first non-admin user that I'm going to invite is Ellen Ross. Ellen has been working for Windjammer Corp in the accounting department for years. Even though she doesn't connect to remote servers or use IT tools as Bob or Maurice do, it's still vitally important for her to keep all of her financial related websites, passwords, applications, and documents secure. She needs to remain productive while maintaining the highest level of security. This makes her the perfect candidate for using Password Hub. So let's invite her first. Now, as mentioned in the last video, at this point, you'll normally run into one of two scenarios. The first one is if the user already has a Devolutions account. After hitting enter or clicking the screen, a notice will pop up indicating that a Devolutions account was found. At the end of the invitation process, the user will then receive an email like this one with a link inviting them to join. Now, the second scenario is if the user does not already have a Devolutions account, like we'll see here with Ellen. When I type in her email, Password Hub will detect that the email is not associated with any Devolutions account. Password Hub will then create one for her and by default will send her a welcome email with a temporary password. We'll see that in just a second. Now, if you prefer to manually send the user their temporary password, you're going to have to select I will handle it. And at the end of the invitation process, they'll see a screen much like this one, providing you with the temporary password. Now you're gonna have to make sure to download it or copy it. After this screen closes, you won't see the temporary password anymore. In either scenario, the process will look the same after this step. So let's click on next. Now this allow offline is only pertaining to if you are a Devolutions Remote Desktop Manager user. This would allow Password Hub Business as a data source to be allowed offline so you can access it when you're not connected. Here we can allow Ellen to send messages using our secure messaging center up here in the top right. All right, so let's click next. Now on this screen here, I'm gonna select the user groups. So for Windjammer Corp, I want every single employee to be part of the Windjammer employees user group. That'll give them the right permission so that they can access the default vault, which was called Windjammer Employees. She's also a member of the accounting team, so we're going to click Accounting. Now Ellen will receive an email inviting her to join the Windjammer Corp password hub. Here we see the invitation email that Ellen will receive along with her temporary password, as well as the link to the Windjammer Corp password hub. So she copies the password and then clicks on the link, taking her to the login screen. Now she'll be prompted to create a new password for her Devolutions account. After she updates that, she'll end up on this last screen, where she can enter in her first name and last name, and then choose to opt in or out of receiving Devolutions-related emails. Okay, so it looks like Ellen successfully logged into her own password hub. Now, if you have multiple users that you want to invite, who will all inherit the same user groups, for example, all the employees in a specific department, you may want to opt in to use the mass invite functionality. The process is very similar to the single user invite, but instead of typing one email, you simply either comma or semicolon delimit your list. So I have a list here I've already prepared. I'm going to copy it and paste it into the emails. Like before, if Password Hub detects a valid Devolutions account, the user will simply receive an invitation email that they can click on to access the hub. If not, this prompt to send the user a temporary password will show up where you'll have to select automatically via the invitation email or I will handle it. All right, so I'm gonna click on next. On this screen, I can assign the users a desired user group or groups as needed. So as I mentioned before, every single employee is gonna be part of this Windjammer employees user group. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click send invite. Now Password Hub is going to generate a report and this simply tells you whether the invitation was sent successfully or not. Now we opted to automatically invite all the users and send them temporary passwords. But if you opted to say, I'll handle it myself, here you could copy and paste the passwords or download them for later use. So you can see the process of inviting one user or multiple users is quite simple. All right, I think that's a great place to stop. In our next video, we're going to take a look at external tools and how they can help you fill your vaults with content. Thanks again for watching this Getting Started video, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.